What's up guys, Hoodlum2002 here with another Diecast review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Josh Berry's Darlington Throwback from 2021. So, before we get into the uh, Diecast, I'm going to take a quick look at the box. So on the front of the box you have Lionel Racing, die, official Diecast of NASCAR. It kind of went for like an old looking throwback uh, design for the box. You got a render of the car right there with the Junior Motorsport logo, standard finish. Right here you have Darlington, too tough to tame, standard finish. This is the dual autograph version, uh, signed by Barry and Dale Jr. They made a total of 553 of these, Action Race Collectibles. On the back you have Darlington Raceway, official throwback weekend of NASCAR, official diecast of NASCAR. Again, same thing, Darlington Raceway, official throwback weekend. You got 2021, copyright and such on the bottom of the box. And the top of the box, you again have official throwback weekend. This does come with uh, one thing. You, of course, have your certificate of authenticity for the autographs. And here is the car itself. And as everyone probably knows this is a throwback to dale jr's 2001 pepsi 400 uh, budweiser car that dale jr won obviously won with in the 2001 pepsi 400 and i gotta say this is a really cool throwback for josh barry driving the number eight car uh the car that he drove in the Darlington race uh today actually earlier today was a throwback to i believe a Looney Tunes car that Junior drove in, I believe it was 2003, in the Xfinity series. I, if I'm say, if I think that's right, it was the Xfinity series. But, and, and I mean, this car looks amazing. I really, I really like that they did a throwback to this. So let's get down to sponsors. So on the hood, you have Tire Pros 2021 Darlington. Got the Junior Motorsports logo right there, along with the Chevy bow tie. On the front, you've got again the Chevy bow tie, the Chevy logo right there in the middle of the grill. You got Camaro. You got the number eight right there. Junior Motorsports. I'm pretty sure that's the SS logo right there. Going down the side, you have Simpson and Sunoco. You got Goodyear's always. You got the blue stripe Darlington tires. Looks like it got a little misprinted, but oh well. So on the A post right here, you have the NASCAR Salutes logo. And then you got some more uh, contingencies. You've got the NASCAR International logo. You got the NASCAR Xfinity Series logo. You got Mobile One, ARP, Sunoco Rookie Contender. Down here in front of the quarter panel, you've got, I don't know how you say it. I don't know if it's like Brandt or Brand T or whatever. You have this um, RE logo right here. You got Mechanics Wear, Miller Welders, Mac Tools. Got tire pros right there on the quarter panel. Unilever right here. I don't know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is like another like tire pros logo or something like that. On the C post, you have Exalta, the American flag, and QPS Employment Group. On the B post, you have Safety Clean, Allstate, Peter Oil, I'm assuming. I think that's what that says. Uh, Miller Welders and SEM. You got a Junior Motorsports logo right there with Josh Berry's name. Uh, the flag, I don't know what uh, state flag that is. Someone might want to let me know on that. And you have the Martinsville winner sticker. On the back, you have Tire Pros. You got the Junior Motorsports logo along with another Tire Pros logo. Got number eight right there. Got the Chevy Camaro. And on the side, you have again that RE logo, Mechanics Wear, and Mac Tools. Of course, have the uh, rookie stripes. On the deck lead, you have Junior Motorsports, Junior Nation, Shop Now. You can see the June, the Dale Junior autograph right there. This is number 344. You got Barry's name right there on the uh, rear window. On the roof, you have tirepros.com. Going down the side, it's the same thing. You got Barry's name right there on the front window and Barry's autograph again on the front window. Take a look under the hood. Get this open real quick. You 
Under the hood, you have a Chevy bow tie and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no roof flaps or deck lid on these Xfinity cars. And here's the underside of the car if you want to see that. So now going into the design, Junior Motorsports really nails it with their throwbacks. Like they go all in with like the fonts and all that. They try to make it look almost exactly like the car that it's throwing back to. So like on on the hood here, you've got the tire pro you got the tire word the word tire in like I would assume this is the Budweiser format or something similar to the Budweiser format. And then you got the Pros 21 Darlington Junior Motorsports. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be uh, replicating like the All-Star Game logo. Uh, that's what Junior's original car had was Budweiser the all and the All-Star Game and whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Chevy logo was always there. And instead of like stitching for like baseball going down the side, again, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Someone can let me know what this is supposed to look like down here. What's supposed to replicate the uh, the stitching of the baseball. And so because this is not a baseball car, I really like what they did here. So on the original car, it had like a baseball player like pitching or something right here. But instead, they have a picture of Junior. You can kind of see the roof of his car. They basically have the picture of him standing on the roof of his car after he won the race and he was doing his burnouts in the infield they put the picture of him standing on the car right there and again you have the full tire pros logo in like the budweiser format so you got the full tire pros you don't just have tire on the hood you got tire pros i don't know if this is supposed to be a th i don't know if this is supposed to be a throwback logo or if this is just another Tire Pros logo that they have. Again, on the back, you got, again, the Tire Pros in the Budweiser format. On the deck lid, I believe on the original car, it was supposed to, it was the, um, like, the MLB shop, store, whatever. They changed that to the Junior Nation shop now. And again, you got the TirePros.com logo again in the Budweiser format. And going down the side, it's all the same, except, again, the picture. Because I believe on the original car, again, you had, like, a player on one side. I think he was, like, batting or he was swinging a bat. I'm pretty sure on the – they didn't do anything on the rear for the throwback. But I think on the rear of the original car, it had – I'm pretty sure it had, like, a pitcher or something like that. And then I think on the other side, it had a pitcher as well. I can't remember. But on this side, you have a picture of Junior and Michael Waltrip on the roof of, I believe, is Junior's car, or it's Michael's car, I can't remember. But you got a picture of them standing there together, celebrating. Obviously, uh, Michael had won the 500 earlier in the year, but wasn't really able to celebrate it due to the passing of Dale Earnhardt. So with Dale Junior winning, the July Daytona race, Mikey obviously decided, got to celebrate with Junior and was able to somewhat celebrate his Daytona 500 win a little bit more. Obviously, now the big thing a lot of people wish that we could have gotten on this car would have been the DEI styled 8 font. But, you know, Teresa holding on to whatever she can hold on to uh obviously would have interfered with that so i'm trying to remember what his name is ryan williams i believe is the designer for junior motorsports went with the font that dale jr used at when he was driving for hendrick motorsports that 88 font that Junior used for HMS, that's what this font is on this car. It's just the number 8, and it's kind of widened out a little bit more. Which, I will not lie, I think is a really cool touch. Again, it would have been nice if we could have had the DEI font. But, 
obviously again Teresa would have interfered with that I honestly wonder what this would have looked like what this scheme could have looked like with if they used the JRM 8 on it leaning forward and everything uh, the throwback that Barry ran today was the JRM 8 font and it was leaning forward and I really liked it with the JRM font but I won't lie I do I'm not hating on the Hendrick 8 font I really think it's a really nice touch and I mean it is a font that Junior drove a car with because I mean I don't know if there's any other font that they could have done gone with because Again, you, they couldn't use the DEI font, so it was either, I guess. But I, I like this font. It's a really nice, really nice little touch to the car. But I mean, again, Junior Motorsports just, just really knows how to like adapt logo-wise and all that for anything that they're throwing back to. So again, another a, re a really good example, obviously this, but again, and it's weird because it's a Barry throwback that I'm fixing to point out here, but it's the throwback that Barry ran today. It, again, I mentioned it earlier, it was that, Loon that orange Looney Tunes car. Obviously, I'm pretty sure Junior Motorsports doesn't, obviously doesn't have the rights to use any of the characters that were on the official car. So they did their own little kind of improvising with it. I can't remember exactly all that was on the hood of the car, all on the the car, but I know on the hood they had like a it. I think it was like a tire, like a yellow face, and it had like a hat on that said like Tire Pros or something like that. And then I think on like the side of the car. They had like a guy with like an air gun, air impact gun or something like that. Kind of replicating the Tasmanian Devil or something. Again, I can't really remember all of it, but just the way that Junior Motorsports can get their throwbacks as accurate as possible. Uh, All Geyer, uh, again, this year ran a Dale Earnhardt throwback. And somehow, surprisingly, Allgaier wins again, running a Dale Earnhardt throwback. So Allgaier has won back-to-back -back throwback weekends at Darlington, running a Dale Earnhardt throwback. So maybe we need to get Josh Berry to run a Dale Earnhardt throwback so Berry can win at Darlington. And Gregson finished second today as well. And Gregson won the, um, I believe it was the playoff Darlington race. So if you count, you know, the two Darlington races from last year and Allgaier winning the Darlington race today, Junior Motorsports has won three Darlington races in a row. And actually, this year, I believe Junior Motorsports has won three races in a row. You had Gregson winning Talladega a couple weeks ago. You had Barry winning last week at Dover. And now today, Justin Allgaier winning Darlington. And it's kind of funny, the 9-1, and then the 8-1, and then the 7-1. So now Sam Mayer has to win next week, so we can have a JRM uh, 1. All, all four of their drivers will have won a race. And 2, they'll have four wins in a row, each win with, one of their, with a different driver. But anyways, but... Yeah, again, this car, paint scheme, really cool. Again, Junior Motorsports really doing as much as they can to get their throwbacks as accurate as possible to what they're throwing back to. Sadly, I don't have a 124. I have a 164 of it. But, again, if you're a Junior fan and you collect the throwbacks to kind of put next to the original scheme, that that would like these things like seeing like all the similarities and what they changed to make it look like the original car and having it next to the original car again is really cool and, and again as i pointed out this is a dual 
autograph car. You got the Barry autograph right there, and you got the Dale Jr. autograph back there. And this diecast isn't important for me just because of the fact that, again, the scheme itself is cool and all that. But this is my first dual autographed diecast. I have a bunch of autographed diecasts. But I, this is my first dual autograph die cast. And if you're wondering, yes, I did pre-order Barry's throwback from this year with the dual autograph, or with the dual autograph, so it's going to have Barry's autograph and Junior's autograph. But that's not the only one. I think if everything goes well, I could be, I could have three dual autograph die cast total this one um barry again barry's throwback from this year and the car that jeffrey earnhardt ran at talladega a couple weeks ago that is going to be signed by again obviously jeffrey the driver and larry mcreynolds who was his crew chief if they would have offered a triple autograph diecast with Jeffrey's uh, autograph, Larry's, and Richard Childress's autograph, I probably would, I would have pre-ordered it. But they're only doing a dual autograph, so I'm getting that. So everything goes through. I will have three dual autograph diecast, and it's funny because. Whenever I first started collecting, I never thought I would have an autograph die cast. Now all of a sudden I have like maybe 10. Okay, no, I just counted cuz I have them they're sitting next to me. And then I counted 12, 13 right here, 14 because I have a, a Justin Allgaier I had Allgaier's Richmond win from 2020, I believe, when he won with the uh, the filter time car. That's autographed. I believe that's the only raced win diecast that I have that's autographed. Um, the only raced version diecast I have that's autographed is the Dale Jr. Homestead car from 2017. They made a race version of that. I got that autographed. I bought. I buy these all autographed. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, I haven't been to like a tra I haven't gotten these signed at, while at a race. I've only been to two races, so and I didn't even have access to go on to like the pit road except for 2016. But we didn't really see any of the drivers because it was the day of the race, and I didn't run into anyone. But a majority the majority of the diecasts that I own, I've bought them all signed already. I'm planning on going to the Coca-Cola 600 next year. So hopefully I can get uh, some die cast autographed in person. Again, if everything goes through and all that, I can, I'm looking to go to the 600 next year. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video on Josh Berry's 2021 throwback. Happy to have made uh, videos in back-to-back -back weeks. I can't remember if I made if I'm three for three now. I don't think I am because I think the video I think the one I did before the Bowman Dover win was the Barry Martinsville win, and that was a while ago. So, oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I did the Talladega win, the 2015 Dega win. So, okay, so I am three for three in video so far. So awesome. Um, I don't know where they're racing at next week. Um, obviously I'm going to, I'll look, see if I got something I can review. If not, I'll probably just take off, we take off week, but anyways, that's going to do again. That's going to do for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.